Merry Christmas. Alright, we're back. Does anyone remember where we were? We were- HOLY SHIT! We're flying the fucking blimp! Oh god, what are we doing? We gotta go fast, bro! Oh shit, but there's shit everywhere! We got this, man. We're flying a blimp, what is happening? There's balloons. Okay, so hang on. We now have balloons flying around. We have uh, some sort of weird- Fuck, weird on the ground sailing ships. I guess they sail on the ice. And we have those tubes. So I once again reiterate what the shit are the trains for? These elves have so many modes of transportation and they're just like, yeah, but we need more. I'm surprised they don't have fucking cars. We'll, we'll pick that up even though I don't need it. We'll pick that up so we can repair Santa's big dangling sack. That wobbles just oh so suggestively beneath us. Oh shit, gotta be a little bit careful. Gotta be a little bit careful, we're going full speed. This is this is what Christmas is all about. Once again though, I love how he's just like, yeah, you, you, you fly the blimp, my dude. You fl I know I'm a captain. And we do have other elves, because I mentioned that we have other elves. But we specifically need you, the child. Yeah, here they are, the fucking, the, the weird ships. What are they doing? They're like, yeah, they're like ice ship. Oh, fuck. Well, get out of the way, you some bitch. Well, I have an idea. Why don't we fly higher? You know? Unless this is the maximum altitude while we're way down with Santa's big swing and sack. In which case, I have a few fucking questions. Uh, first of all, why don't we get something safer? Why don't we put this on trains or some shit, you know, that don't crash? Nah. Oh. Was that the end of the music? It was. <laughs> I love that. I love so much how the game is just like, Nah, you've had your music, Phil. Do the rest of this in silence. Oh shit, see this is just dangerous. Why are we doing this? Wait. The music looped. We have a music loop, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Christmas miracle. For the last mission. A musical loop. And we're grabbing coins because we're greedy sons of bitches. Even though we have literally 16 lives and no way to die. I mean, we can still die. We can still crash this thing. Again, once again, I have to reiterate how shit at games I was as a little kid. This was difficult. This. This was difficult. <laughs> Looking back on this is genuinely embarrassing. But I- Sorry. Oh shit. Oh, go oh, hang on. Nah, maybe little me had a point. Holy shit. Sorry. This has got so much harder. Oh, no, no, now it's easy again because they gave us a spanner literally right after we took any damage. But I do that a lot, though. I play games again, and I'm just like, god damn. Like, I played, um, Oblivion a little while back, which is a fantastic game. Better than Skyrim. Fight me about it. It's better. I played Oblivion again, and I remember, like, it being more complicated and, like, more, like, Wow, what do, I don't know how to do this, and I just like would learn how to fudge the game and sort of cheat, or just like work, make workarounds. But playing it again, I'm like, wow, I really made the game harder by doing that shit. I should have just listened. I had a real trouble with listening to games. I was just like, yeah, 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 come on, come on, tap an X, tap, 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 tap. Let's get past all the dialogue. Let's get just straight to the point. Come on. I think that's a lesson we all should learn. Pay more attention, children. It's important. Also, just as a, a very small side note to let give you a peek behind the curtain, I have a timer going for the episodes because I like to keep track of, you know, I like to keep them roughly the same length. Um, and the, I'm judging by the timer I've got going against the timer in the top left-hand corner. Is that timer is so wrong. It is like so slow. Like not not by a whole lot, not by a noticeable amount if you're just playing. 
but each second takes like one tenth of a second too long. So realistically, we should just about run out of time by now, according to my timer. Holy shit! Yeah, we should have just about run out of time, and instead we've got a minute and a half left. Like, it's a bit dodgy. I know they're on a budget, and I know they did their best, and I know it's not the best game in the world. But this game is about two hours long, and I would have thought they could have at least gotten the goddamn timer right. It's a timer, guys. It's Actually, you know what? It's probably lag. It's probably game lag. It does that a lot for a lot of games, I think. Timers and shit. Oh my god, here we go. The finale! Delivering toys to Santa! He's gonna let me sit on his I knee! I you. Thanks, but we're not quite there yet. We're not there yet. Worry, I'll take it from we here. have to crash into the towers! Um, that was that you. was a poor taste joke, I apologize. We're almost there. Hey! Welcome back! You made Literally it. didn't go anywhere. You, you were in the room with me while I was doing bumpy. it. Fuck you, you little Look, goggles. We're almost there. We made it. Hallelujah. Uh, irresponsible. All right, you Get the fuck out of here. I piloted the okay. fucking thing. Get out. I'm not a stowaway anymore. I'm a pilot. I love how they sound teeny. Yeah, that would not cover a city, let alone the planet worth of even just like kids that celebrate Christmas. I get that a lot of them don't, but that wouldn't cover a neighborhood. Nice to see you again. But state is magic, so it makes sense. Kind of close, aren't we? Oh, he's give me those eyes. Hey, we did it. We saved Christmas. Except we didn't. We only sort of, well, like, we didn't save Christmas. We sort of ruined Christmas and then just said, fuck it. Bro, in this version, we didn't even get to meet Santa. What the fuck? He just fucking goes away. The amount of work I have done this evening, and Santa didn't even bother to shake my goddamn hand. Son of a bitch. Also, how do they pick the kids for the Polar Express? That's a good point. Because there's like, nine kids there, max, right? How many fucking kids do want to go to meet Santa? And there's like nine of them. And they can't be picking just the good kids, because that kid with the glasses is a fucking asshole. Holy shit, Santa's fucking dead. All the elves start screaming because they're like, Oh fuck, I knew we shouldn't have put that much fuel in it. Jesus Christ, Santa's dead. Santa will never be alive again. Oh. Didn't even give us a... F ah, there you go, Jim Hanks. That's his name. Jim Hanks. Bam. Uh, uh, yeah, Jim Hanks, Tom Hanks' brother, does the voice for all the video games and stuff. Oh, right. They would have given Tom Hanks a credit because he would have he would have had the the film scenes, so they have to give him credit for that. But anything in the game that's gameplay footage is Jim Hanks. Let's have a hand for Jim Hanks. Well done, Jim. Well done. You sound enough like your brother that people will accept it, but not enough to be famous for it. <laughs> well, uh, that was the end of this game. Uh, Polar Express, uh, definitely worse than I remember it as a kid, but we did it in one goddamn sitting, uh, took about two hours, probably less, probably more like an hour 45, uh, absolutely awful, but I don't have anything against these developers, uh, they tried their best with something that I don't think had any chance of working, uh, so yeah, that's it, uh, that will be uh, the end of this run uh, of our Christmas special. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we will be back to our regular programming next time. I think we're still on The Walking Dead, so we'll be back to that. Uh, until next time, guys, please remember that I love you all very much. I very much hope to see you all in the next episode. 
and a Merry Christmas to all. And to all, fuck off. <laughs>